Hello everyone. In this lesson, we're going to write Hello World HTML. We're going to write our first HTML markup page, which is Hello World. It'll be a simple exercise, but it'll get you started and then we'll build on this exercise with something a little bit more complicated. So let's go ahead and take a look at Hello World HTML. Okay, in this lesson, we're going to write our first web page. It's a very simple syntax. And it's really the traditional first in any kind of software development to write hello world. So we'll do the same here. And we'll build on this example later. So the screenshot below is really what we're building there. Very simple web page, but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here's the code for our hello world.html file. You'll notice that the file begins with an HTML tag and then it ends with a matching slash HTML tag. And so most tags in HTML have this, this paradigm and you have a beginning tag and an end tag. There's two major sections in this document. There's a header, which again begins with a header tag and ends with a matching uh, ending header tag. And then there's a title. The title is going to be what's displayed at the top of your web browser when this page is rendered. And then there's the body. And the body again has a beginning tag and a matching ending tag and then just some plain text that says hello world my name is eric and so that's really it for our html document i'm going to show you now you can construct this in um, notepad or you can use text edit you can really use any text editor you want to do this uh, but we'll take a little bit deeper look at that and then how you render it in the browser so now that we've looked at the structure of our HTML, let's go ahead and look at how we would do this. We're going to enter in the code in Notepad. I'm going to show you how to do this on Windows, or you can use TextEdit on the Mac. This is actually a TextEdit example. And you'll notice that in, in my HTML, there's a typo right here in this header. Notice how the, the matching tag does not end. And that's probably the most common error that you will make in HTML is not having a matching uh, beginning and end tag. And notice the beginning tag is also missing a, um, a brace right here. So those are some of the things to look out for when you start coding in HTML. Um, pretty easy to, to leave those out. And what happens, you won't get an error message on the browser. You'll just get something that you don't expect. You, you'll get text that's not displayed the way you expect it. When you enter this in, you're going to save the file as hello.html. So let's go ahead and look at a demonstration of how we're going to do that. So once you create your HTML file to display it in the browser, you're going to open up your browser on your computer, and then you're going to select the file menu and then open. You're going to open that folder by either opening it from the browser or dragging that file to the browser window. So we'll look at a demonstration on how to do that. Okay, now that we've looked at the steps, we're going to go ahead and do a demonstration. I'm going to jump onto my Windows machine. We're first going to create the code. We'll save the file as hello.html. We'll display the code in the browser, and then we'll make a simple simple change to the HTML file, and I'll show you how to redisplay that or, or refresh the browser. So let's go ahead and jump onto the Windows machine and take a look. Okay, so now I'm on my Windows machine and I have our Hello World code loaded up into Notepad. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to save this file and I'm going to call it hello.html. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on my desktop. I'm going to save it as hello.html. Okay, so now if I look onto my desktop, I actually have a page called hello.html, and I'm going to go ahead and try to I'm going to go ahead and display this in Google Chrome. So one thing I can do on a Windows machine is I can just browse, drag this file onto the browser, and now notice it does display my, my file. So let's make a simple change to this. Let's say uh, I want to change my name to Bubba. So I'll I'll put in the change and you have to save the file again otherwise it won't be relevant and if I right mouse click over here I can reload this page and it changes then the display of the HTML so that's really it it's a very simple exercise you can really do this in any browser you like later on I'm going to show some examples using Visual Studio Code 
much more powerful in terms of editing HTML. It gives you uh, ways to check to make sure your tags are matching. It also has some uh, color-coded syntax highlighting, highlighting that makes it easier to work with. So we'll show that later on. But to get started for your very first exercise, this is hello.html. Use Notepad and the browser, and there you go. That's really all you need at this point. In summer, we wrote our first script. We wrote hello.html. It's a simple syntax, but it demonstrates the basic principles of how HTML works and how you can get started. And we will build on this example to build something a little more complicated and a little bit more useful. So that's really it for this lesson. Go ahead and do this on your own computer. Get started with this. I'll attach the hello.html so that you can download it if you want to um, start with the code and then make some changes to it, you can do that as well. That's it for this lesson. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for your interest in this video. If you like the material, please click the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more material like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. That's it for now. Thanks again. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.